Well, we've been on one heck of a run dating back to last season, but that has come crashing to a halt as our 32-game unbeaten run has ended with a 2-1 loss to Oxford City. Let's go ahead and roll the intro. We'll come back, show you some scores, and then we have highlights against Maidenhead, and we will be playing Forest Green in this episode. Hey guys, RC here. We're back with our Play the Kids Youth Challenge. This is episode 23. And uh, as we mentioned uh, in the intro there, our long, long unbeaten run has come to an end. Uh, we Since last episode, we played Morecambe and beat them 8-1. to one. Mudge with a brace, Graham Williams with a hat trick, Hemmings, Nuevo, and Allard also with goals there. A 2-1 win over Chorley, Ireland, and Carmichael. The two wingers getting on the score sheet. And then the 2-1 loss, Graham Williams with the lone score. And we blew the 1-0 advantage and gave up two goals on either side of the half. All right, so that's where we're at. Let's take a look at the squad for you guys here. And we will take a look at our goal scores. So Williams, 5-4. Mudge four in three, Carmichael three and four. So he's off to a very good start to his career with the Tivies. John Perinello, we've given two starts. He's not quite up to snuff. He's good, but I think just a little immature. So we'll we'll give him some spot starts, but I think it'll still be Isquierdo uh, in the mix there. We've given Curtis Brunt a couple of games, and in most of them, he's played well. He has uh, three assists in his last two appearances, so not bad. So we'll look at getting him maybe a little more game time as well. All right, for the highlights, we're taking on Maidenhead United. It was a pretty exciting game. Let's speed these up a little bit. We're in the sixth minute. Williams in the box, lays it into Mudge, and they combine for. The first goal of the match. The long boot by the keeper goes to field on a route one off the goal kick, beats Hugel, and we are equal in the sixth minute. King with the cross into the box, headed in at the back post, and we find ourselves on the short end of a 2-1 deficit, 19 minutes in. Field breaking away for another opportunity. Humphreys played out of position. Field came across with the right foot, and we were in a 3-1 hole, and things were not looking good. Carmichael ahead to Nuevo. Nuevo rounds the keeper. Keeper does not make a break on that ball, and it made it 3-2 in favor of Maidenhead. 40th minute, it's Carmichael, our new winger. He's up into the attack zone. They don't cut down on him, choosing to go after Williams instead. Carmichael makes some pay, and we equalize. Into the second half, Mudge gets the ball, plays it ahead to Williams. First touch for Williams, and it was Tiverton 4, Maidenhead 3. In the second half, Carmichael up to Williams, back to Bliss, who came on as a sub, right back to Williams, and he beats Keeper at the near post. That's his hat trick. No, that was his uh, second goal. 5-3. Williams goes over the keeper's head for his hat trick on a blistering penalty shot, making it 6-3. to Is Cuerto into Bliss. Bliss takes a crack from way outside. That was at least, what, 25, 30 yards. The game says 30. That's into Carmichael. It's Tiverton 7, Maidenhead 3. Bliss with another shot and goal. The youngster pushing for playing time after being put behind Ellis. And the cross into Nuevo in the number 10. Stoppage time makes it Maidenhead 3, Tiverton Town 9. And the Tivies dominate this one, coming back from that 3-1 deficit. Williams at the top of his game. Uh, three shots and an assist, so we will give him a lot of praise there. 
That has us in second position after five matches behind Forrest Green, a superior goal differential thanks to a couple of those big wins, that 8-1 and 9-3 victory specifically. And we play Forrest Green for top of the table rights right after this. So we're taking on top of the table Forrest Green. We're going to go with Humphreys in gold, back four of Hugel, Hemmings, Tierney, and Izquierdo. Ireland, Bliss, and Carmichael in the mid. Nuevo at the base of the strike attack, Mudge, and Williams. This could be Williams' last match for Tiverton. We have turned down quite a few offers for him over the last year or so. And recently, we have put a $155,000 price tag on him. However, Yeovil and Stevenage have come in with bids of 66,000 that the board has accepted. 66 that The problem is here, we were not in the hole until the board took all of our money for the new stadium. And now they say that we're in financial straits and we need the money. And I'm like, well, 66,000 doesn't make a dent in this, right? <laughs> not at all. So, you know, and then I look, he scored 61 goals last season. I'm just appalled that they're going to take that. Here's the thing. Stevenage is one level below us, as is Yeovil. So they're making an offer a league below us for our best player that we won't be able to really replace that kind of production. Now, if we go into the depth chart, Nuevo can't finish. I don't want him up top. We do have the uh, Tony Doyle, who we just signed, and he has yet to get his first goal. He's playing well, but he has yet to get his first goal. And then we also have Tim Cook, who's not scored and hasn't played well and looking like a bad signing at this point. And I don't have any money in the transfer budget. I could probably adjust the payroll, but... We're not going to get anybody of Williams' caliber. I, I am just devastated that he might be leaving. Oh, man. 37 goals his first year, 48 in the league his second year, 93 league goals, 104 in two seasons across all competitions. He has eight league goals this year in five matches. If he leaves, we really lose our ability to be competitive, I think. I, I'm really worried if that happens. But it is what it is. I mean, I've, I've protested to the board. This would, be, uh, this would be a thing where Bielsa would quit, but we're not in the Bielsa journeyman. That's the other save. By the way, if you haven't checked that out, we just recently switched clubs, and we are uh, in France in Ligue 1 now. Go check that out. Oh, boy. Not what I wanted to see coming into this match. And we've been getting a, all of our young 16-year-olds, 15 and 16-year-olds, uh, that are, uh, you know, were part of this last youth intake. We're getting bids on every single one of them on for, for freeze. Just give them to us just because, you know, because you're you and we're not. Let's encourage them. We've got the early shot. Carmichael lines up for the first highlight. Near post is cleared out. Is Cuierto back up into Carmichael. Crossed over a couple of shots, but Ireland's second effort goes wide. We're right back in the 10th minute. Bliss cannot keep the ball away from Lambert. He's up into our half of the field. Alta Munoz on the wing. Good block by Hugel. And Ireland clears it up. The flick on header, but Williams is too far across the field. Ireland again to Mudge. Mudge into Williams. And Williams looks for the top corner, but it goes high. All right. Let's. Uh, all right. They've got a highlight now. Forrest Green. Nuevo clears it out. Mudge and Williams. There's the through ball. Mudge is on to it. And it's into the net. Robin Mudge, his sixth of the season. 
Graham Williams with the assist. Will that be the last goal he contributes to 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 the Tibbies? Oh, that would be be a very nice play to go out on, but only if we win. I am uh I don't know what we're going to do if we lose him. I mean, we will be true well and truly gutted. All right, there's a good tackle by Williams and a tackle in the box, and it's going to be Williams lining up to take the penalty. He jogs right over to the spot. I think he's looking to just make his mark, knowing that he might be on the way out. And it goes low corner, and that's his second, uh, well, that's first goal, but he had the assist earlier, and we're up 2 0 in the 24th minute. Oh, Graham Williams, what a hero of the save! What are we going to do without him? I mean, we have Mudge. Mudge is a very, very solid player. But we don't have anybody. Uh, Williams on the hat trick. No, it wouldn't have been a hat trick, right? It was the assist on the first one. Get that into your head, RC. Oh, my goodness. Off topic. I hired a, uh, a general handyman to come uh, install a uh, new garbage disposal in my house. And I was making small talk with him, right? And he was a little touchy. <laughs> Just a little. So I, I made the comment, you know, hey, you know, out of all the jobs that you do, oh, we got toasted over the top. Luckily, that goes wide. I, you know, I said, out of all the jobs that you do as a general handyman, this a garbage disposal probably is the easiest thing that you do. And yet for other people like me, it would be mind numbing to try to figure out how to do it. Just and he got mad. He actually got it, got his tools and got up and started to walk off walk out of my house. And I said, Where are you going? He goes, You can't talk to me like that. And I was like, Well, I didn't say anything. I said, I certainly, you know, I apologized. I said, I certainly didn't mean to offend you or anything, but I, you know, I don't, don't know why, I, you know, you're getting upset over what I said, but, you know, and, and I re-explained it to him and he was like, oh, okay, okay, I'm all right now. And I'm like, yeah, but you shouldn't have been not all right at any point in this, you know, because he's supposed to be the guy I'm hiring. He's supposed to be a professional, right? <laughs> Oh, my God. And Tierney took Beardsley down in the box. They're going to review this one. And Cruz steps up. Tierney gets a yellow card for that. Humphreys does not make the play. And it's Tiverton 2, Forest Green 1. All right. I am going to make a sub here. Hugel's not playing well. Let's bring on Lewis Taylor. Nuevo's not playing well. Let's bring Bliss up for him and then Ellis into the midfield. There's our 60th minute saves. They're playing a 4 4 2 with a diamond. Is Cuierto into the box? Right back to him. <laughs> he tried a blind heel kick. Oh, what a finish! That didn't go in. I thought that was in the net. I thought that was in. No VAR? Wow. Okay. Incredible. All right, let's go ahead and make our last sub. Hemmings is tired, playing okay. Ireland is tired. Do I have anybody that can play? You know, I'm going to bring Scobie on. So Scobie can play up there. He is right only, so let's make him inverted winger on attack. Do that. Is Cuerdo in the box? Williams comes to get it, heads it back to him. There's the cross in. It's Mudge, and the header goes high. Cheltenham over Maidstone, two to one. Bowen with the throw. Crossed in, headed out right back to him. Crossed in again through the box. Nobody is over there. That is a open header. 
from an open cross and we are equalized in the 83rd minute. Where is our right back? Izquierdo had collapsed way inside. Look at him. He's playing a center half here. That's his spot way out there. Taylor gets beaten. The left back, he's also way inside. Oh, man, they're going to FM us here. All right, Williams is on it. Can he work some magic? Williams, he's through. He's on a breakaway. Oh, what a save. Oh, that would have been one heck of a finish for Williams to go out the door. Because I guess he could refuse the contract. That's my only hope now. Because I, I, think, I think we could get over $100,000 for him personally. Ellis with the stump. He just stuck a foot in. That's going to be a yellow. We are in the final minute of stoppage time. Humphreys surveying the pitch. Is Cuierto. It's a through ball. It's to Williams. And he crosses up Llewellyn, and it's in. Tenth goal of the season. Possibly the final goal of his Tiverton career. And he's put us up. Tiverton 3, Forest Green 2. And, of course, we will watch the replay. Great move by Izquierdo. And then a nice, nice through ball. Williams, just enough power to get it under the keeper to the back post. And we do get the victory and the three points thanks to Williams' brace. That was great. A good win. And I am going to talk to him. Graham Williams, proud of the winning goal. Might have been my last pep talk to the young man. Puts us top of the table with that. A big win over the team right behind us. We are going to praise his performance. All right. Um, we've got three days before the next match. Let's go ahead and go move ahead to three days. And we'll see. Actually, we have six days. That's a friendly. So let's see if there's any resolution to the Williams situation. I'll be back if there is or to say goodbye for this episode. Well, I have we've gotten a third bid, this time from Darlington, again, in a league below us. They have not accepted my stance on renegotiating or trying to get more for him. They won't even renegotiate a you know future sale percentage of a future sale, which I think is extremely short-sighted on their part. Oh, Graham Williams is my hero. He's decided to turn down the chance to leave the club, rejected all of the contract offers to stay here. Oh, I am so happy. We have a very close relationship. I am in his favored personnel. He is starting to feel like we lack depth at center back. What's his contract look like? Two years. I don't have a problem with that. What does he make now? 1.8. Can I get you back to that? Let's go there. And I will give you... At 30 goals, we'll give you $5,000. All right, he takes that. All right, well, we'll see if we can get him under a new contract if that helps us out, but at least he's sticking around right now. That's excellent news. Uh, in between that, we did lose that friendly. I did play a heavily rotated squad. Uh, we went with Cook and Nuevo up top. I believe it was Cook. No, it was Cook for sure. I think it was Nuevo up top. Uh, and then... Um, We've gotten an offer for Guion Page. He's 17. He's one of the guys I don't think will ever be good enough to play for us. But again, they're all because they're on non-contracts. They're getting poached out as frees. And I really don't have the money to offer these fringe guys on the chance that I'll make money. So we're going to let a few of them go, I suppose. Uh, let's get another good run of games in here, and 
How about we come back for Dorking Highlights and Harrogate uh, Town on the uh, for the next match. We'll see you guys for that. And hopefully, Williams has not been sold out from underneath us again by our idiot board. Jeez. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Oh, hit the like button and subscribe. You know what to do. Thanks.